Hey guys, how's it going? Today is Saturday, June 24th, 2023. Well, on Thursday into yesterday, we got about an inch and a tenth of rain, which is really nice for the crops, but it's not really nice for us because now we got to deal with mud again. But uh, I guess if you want to have a crop to take off in the fall, you, you have to get some rain. Yeah, we've been really dry this spring into the summer and uh, we're just finally getting some rain here. Uh, it's pretty nice plant expensive seeds like that you don't get any rain it's a uh, it's a total loss pretty much kind of hard to recover from that if you uh, have to buy feed and that kind of stuff so yeah nice to get some rain we got some um last weekend too i believe and then pretty much all next week there's a chance of thunderstorms and rain each day so hey we'll take it this morning my dad and his buddy ryan you've seen ryan on the channel before he was here this winter helping bed up up at the heifer farm the one day and he helped us make hay he helped us fill the silage trench so he's been a couple videos before the same guy that held the john deere hat in front of the camera if you've been around you probably remember that it's just me here taking care of the feeding here this morning um we're gonna start off I need to put some fuel in the 2090 here the mixer tractor the fuel gauge does not work so we gotta go ahead and fill her up because it's been a little while since we uh, put some in it last we have to fill it up about every other week pretty much the fuel gauge always goes up here to above full so i'm pretty sure the float and the tank back there is sticking so you'd have to pull the fuel tank out of the back of the tractor to fix it i don't really think it's worth it so we just gotta kind of remember when we put fuel in it last after we get her fueled up and uh, start mixing feed here for the milking cows It'd be a pretty big job to take this fuel tank off. I think you just have to take these bolts out and it will probably pull out of the back of the tractor, but I'm not sure. It'll probably be pretty hard to get it back in there in place. Sometimes we'll forget to fill it up, then you run out and uh, it just sucks. So, yeah, maybe someday we'll get it fixed, but for now, uh, we just gotta remember to put fuel on it now and then. Got the tractor fueled up. So the first ingredient here in the dairy cow ration is a bale of alfalfa wrapped baleage. Got that bale grinding up right now. We'll let it grind for a good 10 minutes here. It takes a little while to get it knocked apart and chewed up. The mixer got knives in there on the screw that uh, cuts the bale apart and uh, chops it down into smaller pieces. We always scrape the barn three times a day. Now two times we scrape the whole barn. That's each milking. The third time we scrape is right before feeding in the morning. We always scrape around the, each side of the bunk where the cows stand to eat. Just so they don't have to stand in the manure. Get the old 642B fired up and get the scraping. here we just got a conveyor going to the outside there comes out of the mixer the mixer has a conveyor runs into that conveyor 
and comes into this purveyor. You can see there's a spot that's open here on the far side. So the feed starts trickling down through there and the part that's open gets wider. So eventually down at the end there, there's no bottom in the conveyor. So there's only a partial bottom there in the middle, about half. And that comes up here about three quarters. It gets an even amount in each part of the bunk. Cause if it would just be open here at this end, clean to that end, all the feed would be up here. So this makes sense how it's just trickles a little bit down. And then the feed that's on this side will stay there till the end and it'll go down there to that end. This is one of the fresh heifers here. They actually are really tame, but uh, this one here needs to learn how to land the free stalls. A little dirty. Right here's another one. She's really nice too. She's got red ears. some feed up for the bull my heifer up here in the shed we got the feed trough there and then there's a the water trough over here I'm trying to get her bred to the Angus bull there that's the bull we used to breed her first calf Holstein dairy heifers right now I'm gonna go with the side by side get some grain and then we'll go up and feed the heifers we take four buckets of calf feed up and then eight buckets of high moisture corn. Calf feeds for the younger calves. Keep the calf feed in the bin here at home. That's what we also feed to these calves. And then the high moisture corn that's across the road in the ag bag. Calf feed's got some pellets and it's got some rolled corn here. Like must run through like a roller mill or something and then it just uh, crimps it, breaks it up and then uh, got some molasses in there. Stuff smells really good. Calves really like it and they grow really good on it too. Transition from just calf feed and hay to a forage like corn silage. That can be pretty hard on them. So we always get the younger calves up there so we just first take up take some calf feed up for them and then eventually they'll get moved on to high moisture corn got the corn for up at the heifers thought i'd swing up here on top of the hill and show you this corn here a little bit this here at home on top of the hill is planted on the 19th of may that was the first that we planted and it's coming nice wasn't coming very good because we didn't get any rain after we no-tilled it and the ground was just so hard it uh, just couldn't grow very good. There's actually some of it was just starting to spike through. Like you can see a little bit of it here. It's behind compared to the rest. The ground that we tilled up did a lot better than the no-till ground because it was so dry. We worked that moisture up to the top and the uh, corn had moisture to grow. Other than that, the corn looks good. You can see out there in the middle of the field, there must have been some moisture there or else it uh, got some extra manure or something because something made it grow. Looks good over there. Wish the whole field would look like that, but it will someday here eventually. We keep getting rain and some humid weather like we are right now, and that stuff will be shooting up really fast in a hurry. This corn was planted with our own planter. Pap had planted it um, a 
couple weeks before the tractor had burned torn down there in the flat I was planning on the second that was the day the tractor had burnt so that was the morning before the fire that was some of the last we planted with our own yeah you know, i'll show you the corn up here at the heifer farm that we got custom planted it's looking good too it's uh it's gotta be growing as well with all the rain that we've been getting since we've been getting rain lately it's been making the pens real messy and sloppy especially here outside so we gotta chase them out, pen them outside, and then go get the skid letter, clean the pens out, and we'll uh, give them some fresh bedding. Here's the corn out back of the barn. If you look up across this way or down that way, you can see the rows pretty good. It's still pretty weedy. Those weeds will die off, but it's gonna help hold the moisture there, so the corn should grow a lot better, even if we do get drier weather. It'll eventually have to get sprayed, but yeah, looks pretty good. It was planted two weeks ago. We got the big bucket for the new home. We always use this for silage. Try to keep it clean, use it for feed. But we have a smaller, uh, low profile uh, dirt bucket so that it has a lower back on it. You can see the cutting edge. I like to use it for cleaning manure out. That's pretty much our dirt and manure bucket now. This one here holds a lot more, but you can't see the cutting edge with it. When I'm cleaning out pens, I like to see the the cutting edge it makes things a lot nicer before i feed i need to get up here on top and slide the tires back cut the plastic off we like to keep tires up here on the top keep the plastic from peeling back so i get up here slide them back a good couple feet and then i'll cut the plastic off now we can start feeding If you can see it or not, but there's a deer standing right here down there on the right eating from a tree. cleaned out here just set two bales of corn fodder in here a bale in each pen you gotta take the wrap off and then I can get them bedded up
There we go. Everybody's fed.